Hi, this video is to show using QCT5 beginnings to stitch a straight line when you don't have channel locks. So the safe area has already been set and so the first thing I'm going to do, and you can do whatever works for you, you want to um, mark a point where you want that straight line to stitch. So I'm just using a box and I'm going to do a straight line there and I'm going to come over here and do the same thing. You want to be able to place a mark that you can follow that's equidistant um, from from the rail, whether you have a whether your take up rail is there or idler, but you want um, a, a mark that's going to be the same distance. So mark that however uh, works for you. And now we're going to go into select and sew and it doesn't matter which one you pick, just pick anything. And we're going to go into the toolbox and select marking tool. And at this point, I'm going to move my needle exactly over that blue line and I'm going to say add. So now I've added a little point there. Now I'm going to move my needle down here exactly over that where I want this um, basting line to end. And I'm going to say add. So now I have a straight line there. And if it looks like your line isn't straight, then you probably want to redo things. So that's all I need to do to create my line. And I don't want the pattern to stitch, so I'm going to take that off and just select markings. And now I'm going to go into quilt. It says the pattern has not been placed. Do you wish to proceed? Yes, because we're not quilting the pattern. We just want that line. And then I'm going to go into settings. And I'm going to say slow because I want to make sure that the, the batting doesn't bunch up or anything. And we can reduce that tie off um, to two. We don't need much. And I'm going to take the stitches per inch down. Seven is as low as it'll go and say, okay. And now... We are ready to pull the bobbin. And the needle is up. And it's going to where I had set it. I'm going to take that single stitch. And hit sew. I'm going to kind of hold it with my hands. Give it a little bit of tension. Keep that batting laying nice. Okay, so I am finished and I'm going to, I'm going to X out of here and now my machine is released and I'm just going to cut my threads there and at this point I will say remove all, yes, and I'll X out of that and then I can go into pantograph and do whatever I want to do, but now I have that straight line where I can line up my quilt top to and then baste it down. So that's how you do um, a straight line across the top when you don't have channel locks.